Obviously, you know your Earth, Wind, and Fire co-chairs Ben uh, Camber and Mary Sport. We have three community fellows with us. My lovely wife Sue, um, who's going to maybe say a few words here about the PowerPoint and just walk through it, along with our community fellows John Sauer and Kathy Clary. These are our landscapers. These are the people who know trees, and they're going to take you on your tour. So I will turn this over to you all. We're really excited. After four years of uh, working on this project, it's finally coming to fruition, and today's the day that we're really introducing it to the first years, which is wonderful. Um, I'd like to just give Ben and Mary a chance to talk a little bit about Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay. Um, my name is Ben. I'm, I'm Mary. A, I'm a third year. I'm a first year, as you uh, know. Um, I'm one of the Earth, Wind, and Fire co-chairs. I'm the other Earth, Wind, and Fire people. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any wacky facts? And yeah, you go first. Okay. Um, I'm having a We like camping. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you think you'll do this semester? Um, not camping apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, that's and so I think we're going to spend our entire now worthless budget on hot wings. No, 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 stay positive. Stay oh, okay. Positive. Okay. Um, stay positive. Yeah, stay possible. Just stay positive. It's like you're still working on the camping. Get that way. Yeah. Um, it's gonna, it's going to be camping, but really we're just eating. Uh, <laughs> continue. Um, well, we are actually trying to work with Sue on creating sort of a website. Um, what she's about to talk about with the trees. Um, and that way, maybe there will be some sort of walking tour that people can do. Um, see all the trees, they can go to a website, get information about it, pictures, history, etc. So we're probably going to be helping her out with that in addition to hot wings. <laughs> um, Earth, Wind and Fire has done recycling yeah. in the dorms in the past. You've celebrated Earth Day and uh, they planted a tree last year that you're going to see as part of your tour, yeah. which was great. So We didn't, but the previous Earth Wind Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Good. As to the recycling bin that she mentioned, um, that is housing's fault, and I'm emailing them constantly, and they keep not responding. So, await we'll our wonderful oh, recycling we'll get bins. Get them soon. Yeah. Good. Or if you have ideas for Earth, Wind, and Fire, they'd oh, probably yeah. love yeah. to hear. We're all what right now, if you have any. Yes, yeah, spit them out. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good. All right. Um, just no, quickly no for introductions, then. Um, we are community fellows. We're not faculty members, but we're part of the community, but we're involved with Brown. Uh, Kathy Clary, you want to just stand up for a second and uh, tell people a little bit, just a short, quick. Oh, well, I'm married to John. We are a team. Uh, I'm a local uh, garden designer and consultant, and I teach horticulture classes, actually, at a night school over at SEMA for School of Continuing Professional Studies. Uh, and I write a couple of uh, freelance columns on horticulture. And trees are one of John's and my uh, special interests. We've always loved the trees at Brown ever since we've been involved here, thanks to Ann and Eric, since I think 98 is, is when we were appointed fellows. So we've watched a lot of these old trees get older. We've watched <laughs> some of them get hit by lightning. We helped plant uh, the newest tree, the little pink dogwood that we planted for Earth, Wind, and Fire um, last spring. So we're very excited uh, about the inaugural tour of the trees. And this afternoon, you'll see some of the really old historic trees up on uh, Monroe Hill, as well as uh, some of the newer ones. Excellent. John, you have a special job here at UVA. Do you want to tell them? Well, yes. I'm the Cars Hill Gardener. And I was just thinking, it was 41 years ago, this November 1, that I was fortunately put with the Weedettes, four or five co-eds, and we came over here to Monroe Hall and pulled weeds all day. Mm -hmm. And I got in the truck at the end of the day with my fellow co-workers, and we were taken back to the shop, 
And I looked at my other fellow that was with me and I said, this ain't working. <laughs> and, and so I have been very, very fortunate and lucky to be able to be part of the university community and also part of the grounds and the gardens. And being up at Cars Hill, it's like the nucleus of Entertainment Central, <laughs> but yet it is a home. And, and it's been a real privilege to be up there. I, um, I have planted a lot of trees, and one of the great things about being somewhere for decades is that you see them grow, and they really do grow. And uh, so that is my, my, my uh, talk on what I've been doing for the last four decades, is just pretty well taking care of the gardens and grounds. Cool. Uh, there's Don and Kathy. <laughs> and they come to a lot of the Hill events, and you'll see them sometimes at Newcomb Hall. So, uh, they're... Any tree questions? <laughs> questions. Um, I've been involved as a fellow uh, since 2010, and we have a farm west of town, and we've got vegetables and trees and flowers and all that kind of thing. So we are just seem to be outside all the time. Um, just to give you a little bit of uh, feeling for the history of this, about four years ago, Kathy was talking to one of the students at Brown, and she wondered why the trees weren't labeled. These all look so interesting, and what's their story? And that really got Kathy going. And somehow that year, you identified 10 trees, and labels were ordered, and they were installed. And, and John gets together with a UVA arborist. His name is Jerry Brown, right? and they install all these labels at the trees. So that's what you're going to get to see today. Um, that's one of the oldest trees on the hill. We, we don't know exactly how old it is, but it's a princess tree. And it's located near the colonnade where Chris uh, and, and Dr. Plascon's office is. And that's going to be part of the tour today so that you'll see it. Those are what the labels look like if they're attached to the trees. And they're about eye level, John. Is that about right? Now we have tall, tall yeah, his tall, eye level. His eye level, which is like up there. Most of us are looking up. <laughs> <laughs> and trees that are too small to have that kind of label have a stake in the ground. So when you're walking around, there are 30 different trees that have stories attached to all of them that are now labeled. Um, a little bit difficult to see, but there's a pignut hickory and a pecan, and that's to the right of the walk as you go up to the Sally Brown reading room. Uh, again, when you take your tour this afternoon, you're going to learn some cool stuff about all of these trees. Um, last, uh, this just talks about how uh, Helen Mittman and Heather Metalka uh, started the conversation, like, we've got 10 trees labeled, why don't we label more? And that's when the whole uh, process started where John and Kathy walked around with Helen and Heather and, and me, and we had a chance to to pick out 20 more trees. So we have 30 trees now labeled. Um, the big event for us last spring, uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire decided to add a tree to the group of 30, and it's a pink dogwood. And you'll see this this afternoon. It's planted right next to the patio behind the law office. And some of the students are there, and John was busy with a shovel and mulch and all kinds of stuff. And uh, we planted that tree and watered it really well, and it's doing, I think it's doing really well. Extremely yeah. well. Thanks to John. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To and that was to honor Earth Day. You have to water it more than once. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that tree is there. So now these are some of the trees of special note. Kathy, do you want to talk just a little bit? Yeah, when we go on the tour, we'll, we'll show you some of these special trees. There's a wonderful uh, group of three Yoshino cherries in honor of um, past director of studies and past um, uh, President Carl Trindle, uh, who was involved with the infamous uh, haunting things that no longer <laughs> happen. Uh, and Yoshinos are, are part of those wonderful cherries that bloom up at the uh, Jefferson Memorial up at D.C. that people come from all over the world to see. So Yoshinos are a beautiful ornamental cherry. And, and the lovely Japanese maple that Anne and Eric planted for their wedding back in 96, which I have old slides of it where it's just this little tree, and then today we'll see how, how big uh, it's grown in all these years. Oh yeah, and the Lebner Magnolia, the, one of the memorial trees, that's a very special uh, star magnolia hybrid, one of the most beautiful ornamental magnolias uh, 
known to horticulture, really. That's one of the memorial trees. Of course, Chestnut and uh, <coughs> the, back, the back of uh, Hill House is another dedicated tree, as well as um, a sugar maple up in back. So we'll see all of these on the tour. And I hope that as you're walking through the grounds, uh, you'll become more familiar with the trees and start looking at them in the different seasons. And everybody take a picture when you find it looking especially good. And then hopefully we can eventually coordinate all these into the website and have good seasonal pictures of all the trees. Absolutely. We need your help with this. I mean, I think it would be really important to have a winter picture of every tree, a, a picture when they're at their height, like if they're a blooming tree in the spring. And that way, uh, we can post all these things and, and create the walking tour. And our big goal is to somehow have a spring event, maybe Arbor Day in April. Is that it, John? This coming um, spring, and we can somehow coordinate that. So we're going to get ready to have a tour. And what we're going to do is divide the group into two groups. And John is going to take uh, part of the, the group around, and Kathy's going to take the rest. So. If we could go around the tables and just say one, two, one, two, one, two, and all the ones will go with uh, John and all the twos will go with Kathy.